Welcome back. You're watching Desi Plaza TV and I'm your host Karishma and we are doing a discussion on the very recent incident, the hate crimes as we can say. And before we took the break, we were talking to Karan Singh Ji and he was on a very, very important topic. So please continue. You were saying that, you know, how Guru Nanak Dev Ji's uh, preachings, what he gave 300 years back, is still very relevant. In fact, it's needed more in today's time. Yeah, actually, uh, I think the, the fact of the matter is uh, uh, principles don't change. Yes. Operations change time to time. Yes. And I think today what we are facing a difficulty mm -hmm. that we are saying is a hate crime, it's because of the operational procedures yes. um, that we have to embed according to the current situation. Okay. But going back to uh, the, the Kent situation when the, the person was shot, mm -hmm. I think, I, it's, as I said, you know, I don't relate to it like a hate crime. It could be as a good of a financial thing, you know, or economical mm -hmm. setback. Mm -hmm. Because I've seen uh, since last 20 years, the more and more people are on the, the government paycheck, on the <coughs> food stamps, mm -hmm. and uh, other uh, uh, jobs have been lost, mm -hmm. especially yeah. the manufacturing jobs. Yes. And uh, when you are economically not sound, <coughs> and then you does not belong to any religion, yes. any sect, yes. any caste, yes, absolutely. then you buy stuff. Yes, That's an independent actor. Yes. So I think what we are seeing nowadays is uh, independent actors, those uh, either are economically on the downside. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, that is one of the narrative uh, people are deriving. Secondly, uh, we collectively condemn any hate crime that's uh, happening now and uh, in the face of this uh, uh, administration or a previous administration. And it does not belong, it, 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 shouldn't, it doesn't matter, you know, it's to a, a Sikh or a Hindu or a Islamic or a Christian or something. The hate crime is a hate crime. Absolutely. And we collectively condemn that. Yes. Um, having said that, uh, there are such incidents that will be happening. Yes. I wish it doesn't, yes. but uh, you never know. Yes. What we can do today is, you know, that... Uh, with the efforts which the panelists have discussed, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, like outreaching the communities, mm -hmm. going to the school districts, mm -hmm. being a soccer coach, mm -hmm. uh, mingling with your neighbor. Absolutely. And uh, we have to get quite knitted with the mainstream. And the only thing we can do today is that we do a homework so that our posterity doesn't face the same circumstances. True. So it's an opportunity for us uh, to be on the same board, keeping our culture mm -hmm. and still uh, living in the land of the law Absolutely. and abiding it. Absolutely. And uh, that's my perspective on and the way we can uh, reduce the hate. Absolutely. And I also feel that uh, it is always uh, wherever you are, in, uh, you know, it's whichever situation is there, there is always two, it takes two to tango, you know. If we have come here in this uh, country from leaving our country back, we have come here, we, by and large Indian community has been responsible, yes. you know, law abiding, follow the rule. Yes. And uh, to a certain extent we have tried to follow the American way also of living. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the other side, always, who were already living here, it's their responsibility as well that the new person that has come up in our neighborhood or in society, we know about them. So there, a lot of, you know, education, you know, awareness, and nowadays, I somehow I fail to uh, you know um, you know actually digest this fact that you know people are so ignorant that we know. But then there are so many modes of media nowadays, and the, now we are in large number. It's not that we are few here and there. We are in large number. And if you have not seen an Indian, an Indian, and you can't understand or we recognize an Indian or a Sikh yeah. who've been there for many years, and they are in so many numbers. There are five or six you know, Gurdwaras here, and they are they themselves, they do a lot of humanitarian work, a lot of voluntary langar, you know, we have seen so many good, uh, you know, um, uh, videos about how uh, the Gurdwara is feeding, you know, homeless and poor people. So I find it very difficult to actually, you know, um, digest this that, you know, nobody knows about us, or people are ignorant about us. So I think it's the equal responsibility on the other side 
that if they don't know, then they make an effort to know about it. So you have you have just uh, read it in a rightful way. Actually, the only thing is, you know, you, we can do our homework, but we can uh, advise and put somebody in a platform so they know our culture. And I think that we have to start from, as I said earlier, at the ground level from a school, from elementary schools. Yes. Uh, all the parents should attend the schools yes. on the weekly basis. Yes. They should get involved in uh, extra extracurricular activities, mm -hmm. and sports. Yes. And uh, that's the way you educate them. And I think um, some of the gentlemen here, I think they have worked with the, uh, the school districts also. Mm -hmm. If there are some kind of uh, the educational, like civil education, on the on the on the, the world level or the world ethical mm -hmm. level or the religions around the world, mm -hmm. I think it would be very very helpful for the next coming generations yes. to get to relate to the uh, global community. Absolutely. And I think that's what we have, so we can push it on every state level. Yes. So I would like to ask you, Hamzat Singhji, what would be your suggestion, or how do we deal with the situations? come up like since you're the most experienced person here and you have seen many times you know many situations such in the past well Karan Beer Ji just uh, touched on our yeah and uh, explained as to what we need to do <coughs> I want to ask everybody what is their suggestion in terms of from their perspective what specific thing we can do with respect to outreach so people all people living here and the local people should mm -hmm. see us doing good things i mean we do good things but yeah. we do at home or mm -hmm. in our temple so other people see us doing things to tell somebody we are good people we are this and that mm -hmm. gandhi etc doesn't make any difference but they should see us in public you know feeding or responding to the food banks homeless Mm -hmm. uh, when there is a fire or uh, some other disaster comes, yes. we are not present there with them. Ah, when that's right. them. We that's are not right. present there. Mm -hmm. So what we should do with our own temple and with our own organization to adopt such projects mm -hmm. where our presence is there, where other Americans are present. So who would like to go first on that answer? Yeah, I can yeah. give well, uh, uh, Dr. Lalji, what you said is very true. I think we should do that. The Kansas uh, incident, I can call it as a wake-up call. Probably uh, the whole Indian community kind of uh, complacent, probably kind of relaxed, probably it's a wake-up call. So it's good thing, uh, but, uh, so that we should take um, a good thing from there and then educate our fellow ci citizens. And I represent uh, local Telugu organization, Tantex. For example, certain community activities which we do is backpack. What we do is we uh, tie up with the local school districts. We collect some money, we buy some, because there in each school district, there are poor students. For them, they buy the books, all those things. We provide, along with Tana, we provide the backpacks to them. Uh -huh. We go to the food bank, like you said, and also, we, we encourage our um, kids to get involved with the local communities. Mm -hmm. And how we do it is, we also give the volunteer hours for them. Yes. So in that way, you see, this is the most of us are all first generation Indians that have come from India. Yeah. You talk to your kids, do they feel the same way? I don't think so. Probably to a certain extent, because they are already adopted. Because we came from India with this little different apprehension, whereas our kids are born, brought up here, they have a different thing. They probably they don't have this much feeling. So, as a first generation Indians, probably we have to learn and then educate our fellow. This is what I see back in India also, we have this. In, when you go to Bombay, there are non Maharashtrians who live in Bombay. Don't you feel some years ago there were non Maharashtrians were thrown out of Bombay? Is it it's similar to that people they were attacked all those things could so you, you it is there everywhere <laughs> could you go home from Bombay? exactly it was, it so it was there in back in India too so it was more for North Indians basically uh, yeah. exactly so yeah. the <laughs> exactly the current media the social media 
is what is happening is a quickly aware something happens you have a how we we all came to the cancer thing is the whatsapp yeah, it just came within yeah. minute people came facebook yeah. and in fact when my daughter studied in ut austin when there was a hostage situation it was the facebook through which they communicated yeah. to the their friends in that uh, uh, the classroom yeah. so social media is helping probably we should utilize to reach our community mm -hmm. educate them bring more awareness and so that especially many people already talked about it when you go to the mm -hmm. parties see that you mingle with the group not don't wear heavy jewelry attract the attention mm -hmm. all that stuff so that there is a small um, percentage of people probably will have to take them into our fold mm -hmm. educate them so i agree with the many of the panelists what they say I see your hand go up, like yeah i i I think like everybody, as everybody has been saying, we have to be more active mm -hmm. in all cultural and social and mm -hmm. other activity. Mm -hmm. And actually you see some of our organizations already doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, Hindu temple, the Vedant Center, mm -hmm. uh, Tin Maya Mission, mm -hmm. uh, Swamina, they are all very active doing this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But as individuals ourselves, we yes. don't get involved. Yes. And that is well, I think we need to yeah, be the more and more. Yeah. We don't need any like, uh, I mean, the, it, it's good if organizations come from it, but it's an individual responsibility. Yeah. 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 But as an individual, we, we, don't, we are not that active, yeah. which we should do. And we also should be more active, in, you know, politically. What do you think stops us? I mean, um, what do you think as individuals stops us getting mingled in the society? What could be the yeah. reason? Yeah. I, yeah. Think, yeah. I think, for the first generation uh, Indian Americans, mm -hmm. it is because of the way we are brought up. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's, it's a part of it is a culture. Uh -huh. We were never really, for example, in my case, I, my emphasis was always the study. We yeah. were in the high school, yeah. college, everything. Didn't yeah. take part in anything yeah. else. Yes. So, and politics, for, for example, was always considered dirty. Yes. Right? So I think we were not brought up that way, number right. one. Yes. Uh, and we don't understand that. Exactly. Yes. And, and even social services is also mm -hmm. not, not very active. Yes. Sir. Today in India, you see a lot of people. Things are changing there. But yeah. not when I was going up absolutely, there. Absolutely. So I think it because of that. Secondly, mm -hmm. uh, when we came here, we were very few of us. Mm -hmm. And we always felt like we were different. And we also, today, there is a very uh, respectable environment for the people from India. But when we came first here, we were basically a uh, snake and charmer country. Exactly. And those very poor, uh -huh. uh, uneducated, yes. that sort of thing. Would you like to share something you, you can end up? Yeah, basically one thing to be able to f uh, make a difference, the first thing that we need to question ourselves, there's a word called empathy. Mm -hmm. How much of empathy do we feel, let's say, for the African-American community here? Mm -hmm. See, you hear something like, uh, you know, there are single mothers there, there are divorces happening, at least until a while ago, oh, divorce, you know, that's not something that happens to us. Yeah. I mean, this is a mess that happens elsewhere. We never even responded to that it actually could hit us. The reason I say, and now, you know, you see in every uh, third person or, uh, there are quite a few of that happening in our own community, right? So what is basically happening elsewhere can happen to us too. So there is a poverty there in right here in the US, so how much are we responding? But what can we do mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is it, we can do only something and you act feel from the bottom of your heart mm -hmm. that these are people that you know I need to connect to. Mm -hmm. See I didn't become a citizen until 10 years after I got my green card because still in my mind I was an Indian. Yes. Only when I felt now I am an American, yeah. I decided to go and change the, uh, take the US citizenship. Uh -huh. So mentally when the you mindset. Yes. And when you need to feel for the rest of the yeah. people also. So we are about to close, I am sorry to cut you mm -hmm. off, but uh, I can see Karan Singh. Since mm -hmm. if you can finish in 30 seconds, that will be great. Yeah, I mean, first of all, I want to thank everybody out here. Uh, another thing which the gentleman just uh, uh, nailed down about the, what are the things which are pulling us, not getting individually mm -hmm. there. When the first generation comes, they have to set up a base for mm -hmm. their coming kids and next generation. So most of the times uh, are spent working for the hefty bills. Mm 
Yes. And that's take uh, quite a number of a time. Uh -huh. And uh, secondly, I think uh, uh, it is also a tendency that uh, we uh, have a different back home there. Mm -hmm. We are not out outreach. We are outreach within the families, mm -hmm. but outside not our family. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Sir, quickly if you can finish. Uh, yes. We have to get involved in a political process and yes. we have to register to vote. And every time we have a That's city a good election, com uh, or school election, or whatever, because that elected person will make a difference. Be part of and the society. We have to be part of that group <coughs> to say, hey, we have voted for you. Now we need your help, Absolutely. and you come and help us out. Absolutely. And that's where we have to go next. On a very positive note, yes, we have to make ourselves relevant to the society, politically and culturally as well. Well, it was a wonderful discussion. Thank you all for participating and sharing your valuable views. And I'm sure people who are listening, they will benefit from this. Thank you so much for tuning in to Desi Plaza. With this, this is Karishma signing off for today. Thank you, Sam, so much. Sir. Thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Desi Plaza Studio, for giving us the opportunity.